Good morning, Sunnyside Spencer Academy. Happy Monday, the 5th of October. I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. Um, I know I have. I've been to Splash Landings with my daughter today. I've just got back now, which is why my hair is all a bit flat. Um, and we had great fun playing in the pools and down the slides, the water slides. I hope you've managed to have a lovely weekend with your family and whatever you've got up to. I hope you really enjoyed yourselves and happy and you're re ready, refreshed for our Super Monday morning. So in our virtual assembly, in assemblies on a Monday, we've been working through our shine values. But today I wanted to go a little bit different. I wanted to think about something that's very important, is equally as important as our shine values. And we're going to be thinking today about mental health and well-being. And the reason I've chosen to think about that this week is because actually this week is Mental Health Awareness Week. And on Friday, we're going to be doing some work around help being Hello Yellow. And your teachers will talk a little bit more to you about that in more detail and what that means. But we're all, all going to be showing awareness by wearing yellow on Friday for Mental Health and Wellbeing Week. So I just want you to talk to your class. What does mental health mean? What do you think it means? Have a little chat with your class and see what you come up with. Okay, so we think a lot about our physical health. Okay, we have our PE lessons. We think carefully about our exercise in the day. And we always think about when, we're, when we talk about being healthy, we think about what we eat, what we drink, and how much exercise we do. But actually our mental health is equally as important. And our mental health is all to do with our thoughts and our feelings. And you can see here, I've shared, shared a picture from a very um, popular film, which I'm sure you will, I'm sure most of you have seen. But these are just some of the feelings that we might have, okay? We might feel fearful at times. We might feel angry, joyful, sadness, disgust. I'm sure you can think of others as a class. But all of these feelings and thoughts are all to do with our mental health, okay? Sometimes we have one of these feelings, sometimes we have a mixture of these feelings and that's okay as well, okay? Dealing with our mental health and keeping ourselves mentally healthy is about what we do and how we deal with these feelings, okay? So I just want us to think, sadness, when did we last feel sad? Like I've just said, it's okay to feel sad, we all feel sad from time to time. So when was the last time you feel felt sad? I just want you to have a moment to think. What did you do? What did you do about feeling sad? Did you continue to feel sad on your own? Did you chat to somebody about it? Did you try to cheer yourself up? Just have a little think. Maybe have a little talk to your class. When was the last time you felt sad? And what did you do about it? Or how were you feeling at the time? What did you do? Did you get upset? Did you take yourself out for some fresh air? What did you do? Have a chat. Okay. Angry. When was the last time you felt angry again? It's okay to feel angry. What did you do? How did you deal with those feelings? Have a chat again as a class. Okay. So like I said before, it's okay to have these thoughts and feelings, but it's what we do that matters next. Okay. If you think about sadness, and I'm just going to go back to sadness, it's okay to feel sad from time to time. But if you feel that you feel sad lots of the time, okay, if that sadness doesn't feel like it goes away, then that's when we need to talk about our mental health to somebody. If again, we feel angry, and we feel angry, not just every now and again, but we begin to feel angry a lot of the time, again, it's what you do about that. It's who you talk to, okay? Because this is how we keep ourselves mentally safe, okay? And mentally well. Okay, so what might happen if we don't deal with these? So if we don't deal with these feelings, things can get messy. We might fall out with our friends. We might get into trouble at school and our parents might get angry with us. You think if you constantly feel angry and you're making the wrong choices because you're angry, you're lashing out, you're shouting at your friends, you're shouting at your parents. These are the things that will get messy. These are the things that will spiral in and get a little bit out of control. So what can we do? Okay, we often feel out of control of things that happen in our life, okay? We get told where we need to be, with what time we need to, what 
what time we have to leave, who's picking us up, even where we might be sleeping that night, okay? Uh, it, without these, without these thoughts in our heads and with all the, the other thoughts in our heads that are going around with our, if we're feeling sad or angry, we might just start to get all a little bit muddled up. So what are we going to do and how are we going to try and make sure we're mentally well? So, like I say, we've all been told about how we can eat healthy. It keeps our bodies fit and healthy. However, a good diet helps our mental health as well. Don't skip meals. We are designed to have three meals a day with some healthy snacks in between. And if we don't eat regularly, we can feel grumpy and tired. Okay, I know if I don't have breakfast, I find if I don't have breakfast, my body feels really tired by lunchtime. So we should eat breakfast every day. Our bodies and minds have to run out, they have run out of fuel during the night and we need to give ourselves a good start to the day. We should avoid takeaways and ready meals as they're often full of things which don't help our minds work efficiently. And we should be drinking at least six glasses of water a day. And that is vital for our brain's well-being, and that's something that I try really hard to do because I don't find it easy to drink lots of water. I just forget, I'm busy, okay? But I try really hard to think I must keep drinking lots of water for my brain to keep working. Exercise, okay? Just like we said, exercise helps your physical well-being, but it also helps your mental well-being as well. So it's very important for your mental health. Moderate exercise is recommended for 30 minutes a day. Okay, and that doesn't have to be always running rounds. That can just be things like a walk, okay? So you could go for a walk, even if you don't have a dog, you can still go for out and ask your family, can you go for a walk together? Could be a bike ride, okay? Could be just a walk to and from school, okay? Could go out on your roller skates or um, you take your skipping rope out or go do some exercise, go do some sport. Now, this is something that's important. We talked a little bit about this when we were thinking about what makes us happy. So helping other people, okay? There's nothing like the feeling that you get if you are appreciated by other people. Helping them is a great way to do something useful, but also helps you to feel good about yourself. And we said that, didn't we? It makes you feel happy, okay? If there's a neighbour you could pop to the shop for, if you've got grandma who needs help making the tea, do you have a younger brother or sister that you could read with at bedtime? Okay, all of these types of things. Could you set the table at home when it's tea time? Could you tidy up your bedroom so that your mum doesn't have to do it? Okay, helping other people. So it really makes you feel good about yourself, really helps your mental health. And this is really important. Thinking good things about yourself, thinking positive. Thinking positively is tricky when you feel low. If you feel sad, you don't be, tend to feel positive. But these are really, these are tips to help you because you don't want to get into that spiral of feeling sad all of the time and thinking negatively about yourself. So avoid people who are unkind to you. Don't try and make them be friendly with you. And that's what lots of people say to me. They say, oh, that person's not very kind to me. So I always say, well, play with somebody else. Play with somebody that is going to be kind to you, okay? Consider your achievements, all those swimming certificates, the dance exams, these, all these types of things, they mean you're doing really well, okay? Consider all the things that you do well. Oh, now, this is a good one. If you feel your temper, if you feel angry, the best thing that you can do is walk away. And that's what I always say. Breathe deeply, concentrate until you feel calmer. And you might feel, you might hear some people say, count to ten. And that's really important, okay? If you feel it yourself, you're getting a little bit angry. Instead of reacting, walk away, count to ten. Breathe deeply. Think about the things that you enjoy doing and the things that you're good at. We're all good at different things. Some of you are really good at sport. Some of you might be good at be at different um, craft and art, art things. Some people really might be good with, with numbers. Some people might be good at... English. We're all good at different things, okay? Think about those things that you're good at. Take time out, okay? Things get hectic at school. These and 
and we've got busy out of, out of to school lives as well. Maybe not as much at the moment, but at one point we did when we were all diff going to different clubs and things. But it's really important even now that you still make time for yourselves. What is it that you enjoy doing? Is it that you enjoy when you get home that you can sit down and read your favourite book? Is it important that you take some time out for yourself to draw a picture? Okay, I know lots of you like your mindfulness colouring. Things like that. Taking time to yourself. Recharge your batteries. Even if you just lie on your bed for 10 minutes in peace and quiet. It's really important. Just recharging those batteries. Writing down how you feel. Okay, It's a good way to take the things off your mind without upsetting yourself or anybody else. Just write them down. Okay, And think of your favourite places. Remember what you might hear, see and feel when you're there. And that again, is it, it, it's a time. If you lay on your bed, you could do that, couldn't you? You could just lay on your bed and think about those favourite places that you've got. Spending time with friends. And this is a bit, I know this is a bit tricky at the moment, okay? But you've got friends within your bubble that you can talk to, okay? Play times, you can talk to your friends, you can play with your friends, you can enjoy seeing your friends. Okay, and this is really important. Our friends are called our friends for a reason. We must confide in someone. We must talk to someone. If we're having these feelings, talk to someone you can trust. Talk to them about how you're feeling. You never know. They might have felt in that way too. And they might have some good advice to help. Okay. Always ask for help. That's really important. We are all here to listen. Okay. Okay. And your friends, like I say, your friends, your family, your teachers, everybody's here to listen and to talk to you. Okay, and that's the most important thing from today, please, is that you ask for help. If you start to feel really sad, if you start to feel angry, okay, and these are thoughts that you have that you do need to talk to somebody about them, okay? Now, there's a little video that I'd like your teachers to share with you, which I've just attached the link here to. It's a little bit, a little video about mental health. Um, and you will, like I say, you'll hear more about us talk to you about mental health and, and um, Hello Yellow this week. OK, lovely to speak to you, sunny sides, and I look forward to seeing you um, in your classrooms this week. See you later. Bye bye.